What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Oh, what a fabulous morning. It's around 50 degrees. Not bad for being first week of February, 2023. Um, on our way to a service call, uh, we've done a lot of work for this customer. They have the Bosch trifecta. What that is, is the uh, you have two Bosch IDS 2.0 heat pump condensers and heating systems, right, for HVAC. And they have the Bosch uh, Green Therm tankless water heater. Yep, the T9900i SE. Really, really nice. Uh, but we also replaced their steam boiler, uh, the Burnham SIN6 with the double drop header. You know, using only both tappings out of the top, and they have a leak in their steam piping. Now, keep in mind the 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 house is roughly roughly around 95 years old, and the what that means is the majority of the piping, the majority of the steam piping in the house is also the same age. Yes, the boiler is only about a year and a half old, and the new boiler piping is the same age, but the majority of the piping, especially the radiators, are 95 years old. That's old. That's old. But steam heating system, and she sent me a picture of it, and we have a leak on the, the two by, it appeared to be a two by one inch um, cast iron T to feed one of the radiators. So I'm gonna, I took the uh, liberty and I ordered some parts from supplyhouse.com, the Vega Mega Press, and I got my Milwaukee M18 Mega Press Jaws, and I got the M18 uh, Force Logic Press Machine. And uh, hopefully I got everything right, but um, we'll see. Hopefully I get it done. Hopefully I'll re record some great content on how we can quickly solve a, a steam repair leak, a steam leak um, on a heating system. All right, smash that thumbs up button. Let's go. All right. Let me just give you guys a quick little tour. You guys remember that one, right? Kind of nice. This, this, we didn't do a drop header here, but... We did two swing joints, utilizing both tappings off the top. There's that Bosch air handle that we put in. Really, really nice job, but steam piping. This piping up here, it's like 100 years old. So I have all my materials set up, and what we have here, we have this saddle valve here. This, um, it's strapped onto this two inch here. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this out, we're gonna cut this out as well, and we're gonna use the Mega Press. Now, I got this Mega Press T right here. This Vega two by one inch press by female size. We're gonna put that go right there. I got a two inch slip coupling in case we need that. I got a piece of two inch, I got some one inch copper, and we're gonna do this over with the press. So, let's get show on the road. All right, so let that stop wobbling for a second. Now, before I get started, I gotta tell you guys a quick little something. Let me turn this off so I don't kill you. Um, I gotta tell you guys something real fast. Um, when the channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I was jumping for joy, and I still owe a lot of you, a lot of you, a pool party. And I'm gonna put out something over the next yeah, the next four or five days on how we're gonna get that done. It's gonna happen in the near future. I'm a man of my word. I promise you guys a pool party when we hit 50,000 subscribers. So you can only imagine what it's gonna be like with 100,000 subscribers. Anyway, when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I decided that it's time to give back. I've been so blessed by how well um, business has been and how the, the amount of support from the community, the YouTube community, Reddit, uh, Instagram, that I decided I'm gonna give back. So I decided to set up a 507, 503C charity called Mikey Pipes Philanthropy. And 2% of all Pipe Doctor Home Services gross receipts, gross revenue, uh, is, is being channeled to this charitable organization. And the goal of the channel and the goal of the organization is to give back to the community. I believe it is your basic human right to have functional plumbing and heating in your home. If you, can if you can't afford it or not, you still, it's your right. Everyone should have a functional toilet that goes at work, so a shower, a tub, a sink, you know, you should have that. And this Friday, for the first time, 
We're doing our first service call on the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy YouTube channel. There's a link up in the description box right there. Um, it's really a sad story, but let me get this thing on the road. Check it out. And on Friday, it's going to be epic. Let me get my headlamp on. Let's get to work. All right. Let's cut right here. One more cut here. Let's do that. Let's do that right here, actually. All right, so there is that saddle valve she's gone she's gone baby okay i took my t and i lined it up where it needs to be there and i lined up my street fitting there and i made a cut right there so now i'm going to take some scratchy paper and we're going to clean the remnants of this two inch all the way around get it as nice and smooth as possible any remaining paint and get that off there as well all right, I got my fittings all the way in. And I took my Sharpie, made a mark right there. I'm gonna check for our depth, and then I'm gonna make that up right there with the coupling and a piece of a two. All right, so my two inch Vega slip coupling. Here's my piece of two inch. It's gonna line up right there, and that mark lines up right there. And I'm gonna put this down and cut it. Slip there a little bit. take my scratchy paper and clean up all the paint. While I'm doing this, I like to talk about, again, about the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy. It's a, uh, a charity, a registered IRS charity. It's a 50, 503C, 504, whatever it's called. One of those charities where I am going to make the trades great again and I'm going to need a lot of help, right? We're going to be raising money, raising equipment, raising material for people who need the basic necessities, which is plumbing, functioning plumbing and heating in their home. Almost good there. And Friday, this Friday, which is just two days away, we're doing our first service call where it's absolutely no cost to the, to the person, to the homeowner themselves. Absolutely no cost whatsoever. It's gonna be epic. So check out the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy YouTube channel and nice and clean. Unknown caller. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. Okay.
<laughs> all right, we got plenty. Oh, wasn't pushing all the way. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Okay, put down the press machine. We take the ring off. Try to put it here. You can even do it one hand. Look at that. Make sure that my mark is where it should be. Let's connect the machine. Okay. A little bit. Okay, good. And press. All right, so let me show you the completed repair. Um, this is our two inch steam main, which is pitched away from the boiler, as you can see, going towards our drop to our dry return, which wraps the perimeter of the basement, approximately, I would say about three and a half feet off the floor elevation. Um, so coming with the steam, that is at about a half a PSI, half a pound of pressure, traveling at around 35 miles an hour when it's not running. We come across a Vega two inch mega press slip coupling. I, I got a slip coupling because I won't be able to slide it back and forth in order to get the nipple in because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to just take out the saddle valve that was here. I put a new piece of two inch right here. This is the Vega two inch by one inch mega press by female adapter, and then I use the Vega male adapter and then a Street 90, both in one inch. And as you see, I marked all my fittings. So it's there, it's right in there. There, and right there, and right there. It slid out a little bit, but we had a little bit of forgiveness there because the rings are right there and there. So we have plenty of good stuff right there. Uh, quite impressed with it. The boiler's on. I'm gonna get my HIK Micro thermal imaging camera, the B20 model and we'll take a scan of this when the heat is pumping through it. Steam, sorry, the steam is pumping through it. All right, boiler's been running for about 15 minutes. Nah, actually that's a lie. Well, a fib, closer to about eight minutes or so. We're using the HIK Micro B20 thermal imaging camera. Take a look at all the piping. Uh, I'll quickly go over this with you if you like. Uh, this is a Burnham um, IN6 gas-fired steam boiler. We have steam outlets on two on the top, and I come up with two inch, and you need to be a minimum of 18 inches from here to there. We have exceeded that. I think we're about 20 inches. So I come up and I create a swing joint. So there's one elbow there, another one there, and then I connect to my other outlet for steam, I have a union there to connect those two together. From there, I come across and I have two mains I'm picking up. Here's one, which appears to be going that away, and the other steam main goes that away, and that's the one we just repaired. You're gonna notice that the piping is pitched, draining towards the boiler in some spots, and other parts it's dripping back away from the boiler, and that connects to the wet return, which is one there. That's actually a dry return. You're gonna notice that this main here well, it keeps going. Let's follow that, and maybe that connects. Let's see. And that doesn't. Okay. Let's follow that. And it sure does. So there. Let's see if they have any steam main air valves on this. I don't believe they do. I've been here several times, and no, they do not. Why it was never installed, I don't know. It's a great question. When you have a one-pipe steam system, it's very important to have steam main air valves as a means for the steam to push the air out on a steam heating system. And if you don't have that, the job is solely on the air valves at the end of, uh, on each radiator. You know, those little silver things, some look like little bullets, some look like little barrels, some are round. Um, but if you, don't have any, if you don't have any steam main air valves on the main piping, uh, it's putting a lot of uh, stress and responsibility on those little air valves on each one. They're not designed to let out all the steam, especially out of, you know, let's say 80 feet of two inch steam main. No, no bueno. But nonetheless, it is what it is. Um, after I feed my two steam mains, I come back down. This is called an equalizer. This helps equalize the boiler pressure on both sides, leaving and coming back. You're gonna see that uh, we're basically bottomed out there with the uh, boiler water level. And that's our, our Hartford loop. And there's our drain and there's our wet return. So let's take our B20 thermal imaging camera. 
You can see all the steam piping is nice and hot. And we may or may not see uh, no heat over here. Uh, we do actually, uh, because of lack of a steam main. So here is the connections that we just made. There's that 200 plus degree temperature. There's steam in there, she's 212. There's that first coupling. There's that nipple. There's that T, right? And there is the one inch copper going to a radiator. And it continues and then it drops down. It's like this is also a radiator, but as you can see, it's having a hard time getting rid of all of that, all that air of the line because it's not hot yet. And it's been running for about 10 minutes. And that's because they're lacking a steam main air valve there. And also there as well. They should really have one there. Um, it could be done. We can add something similar to this with a nipple coupling and throw in an air valve up there. But, you know, it's like bringing a camel to water. You can bring the camel there, but you may not be able to get it to drink unless it's thirsty. And that camel will probably only be thirsty in the, in the analogy when there's no heat there or when something else goes wrong. But uh, if you work with steam, I highly recommend you check out Dan Hollihan's books. The Lost Art of Steam Heating, another book that I read, I just read it again, I read it every year, called I've Got, We've Got Steam Heat. It's on Amazon, 25 bucks. I'll try to put a link down in the description box down below, but uh, I happen to love steam. And uh, if you're in the New York metropolitan area, near Valley Stream, New York, which is where our headquarters is based out of, I would love to help you. You can give me a call, 516-348-6300. You can reach me for, um, you know, business inquiries, YouTube inquiries at Mike at MikeyPipes.com and all others, Mike at PipeDoc.net. Um, and if you're interested, uh, you know someone who, who needs uh, the basic necessities, which is functional plumbing um, or heating in their home and they can't afford it, uh, no questions asked, you know, uh, we'll help you out. That's my goal. And that's how I'm going to do my part in making the trades great again. Thank you so much for watching, guys and ladies. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe, and go hug your kids. Love you guys, be well. One last thing to do. There we go. Mikey Pipes making trades great again. Let's do it, baby.